Next, I am going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. So, I have, have taken four integer time variable and PMP or in and or next sum. So I have to uh, see out arm store number between 1 to 1000. So it is playing to the output screen. So hereafter control comes to this point for n equal to 1. So check the condition 1 less than equal to 1000. That's true. So n value go to 10. And sum equal to 0. And while TMP greater than 0. So 1 greater than 0, it's okay. So, rem equal to TMP mod 10. So, 1 mod 10. So, rem become 1. And sum equal to sum plus rem into rem into rem. So, sum value is now 0. 0 plus 1 into 1 into 1. So, it 1. And 0 plus 1. So, sum become 1. Now, TMP equal to TMP by 10. So 1 by 10, TMP becomes 0. Now hereafter that go up and uh, check the condition. Uh, TMP greater than 0, 0 greater than 0. So condition false. Now control comes to this point. So n value is now 1 and TMP or TMP value is uh, 0. So, no, sorry, 1, n value is now 1 and sum value 1. So, both number is true. So, I enter this go to the cout and it display 1 and comma. From here, that go up and increase the value of n. So, n become 2. Or check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, 1000. That's true. So again that coincides, so n value go to TMP. So TMP become 2, sum become 0, and while TMP greater than 0, 2 greater than 0, that's true, that coincide. So rem equal to TMP mod 10. So 2 mod 10, or uh, rem become 2. And now sum equal to sum plus rem into rem into rem. Sum value is now 0, 0 plus 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 0 plus 8, sum become 8. So right here, or TMP equal to TMP by 10. So 2 by 10, TMP become 0. Now hereafter, on that go up and check the condition. So TMP greater than 0, 0 greater than 0, condition false. So control comes to this point. If n double equal to same, so n value is not 2, n or uh, some value 8. Also 2 double equal to 8, so condition false. So it not paint. And hereafter that increase the value of n. So same process will continue on or uh, n value or uh, 3 then check the condition 3 less than equal to 1000 th uh, uh, that's true now the same process continue on n become TN, n value go to tmp and sum become 0 again or uh, 3 greater than 0 that's true again the same process continue on like 2 again if the value reach at 153 so this is a uh, armstrong number so when the value reach at 153 so at this check condition 153 greater than less than equal to 1000 that's true so n value go to tmp so or tmp become 153 and now sum uh, again become 0 while tmp greater than 0 that's true again rem equal to tmp mod 10 so 150 or uh, tmp value is now 153 mod 10 so remainder at here return 3 so rim become 3 and sum equal to sum plus rim into rim into rim. 
So some value is 0, 0 plus 3 into 3 into 3. So some become 27. Now TMP by uh, TMP equal TMP by 10. So 153 uh, by 10. So it divided by uh, 15 times. So TMP become 15. Now that go up, check the condition 153 greater than 0. That's true. Now again the, that coincides dream equal to 10 point 10. So TMP is now 15, 15 more 10. So it divide. So at a remainder return 5. So dream become 5 now. Or sum equal to sum plus. So 20, sum value is now 27. Or 27 plus. Or uh, rim value is now 5, 5 into 5 into 5. So 125. So sum become 27 plus, 27 plus 125. So sum become 152. So I tell TMP equal to TMP by 10. So 15 by 10. So uh, TMP become it divide by one time. So TMP become one. Uh, that go up again. Uh, check the condition one greater than zero. That's two. Now that coincide. Rem equal to TMP mod 10. So one more 10. So remainder return one. So rem become one now. Again, sum equal to sum plus. Rim into rim into rim. So sum value is now 152. 150 plus 2 plus 1 into 1 into 1. So it will give 1. And 152 plus 1, 153. So sum become 1, 153. So TMP equal to TMP by 10. So 1 by 10. Or TMP become 0. Now that go up, check the condition 0 greater than 0. Condition not true. Now control comes to this point. If n double equal to uh, sum. So I do n value is now 153. Sum value is now 153. So both number is true. Oh sorry, both number is equal. So condition true. So I do see out the value of 153. That print. And comma. So if you check 154, so if you do the same process, then what will happen? Condition not match, so it won't print. So if that control comes to 370, sorry, if n value become 370, so and if the same process continue on, then uh, 370, so at here, this condition equal n double equal to some. So this print 370 next. And if n become 371, if same process continue on like this on, so n value is now 371, sum become or 371. So it print 371. So add here the Armstrong number 1, 153, 370, 371. Or you should or try to check with other number like 373. So enter number 373 and sum. Uh, so it won't be equal. So enter it won't print. So hereafter, if the condition, if n value reach at uh, 1001, and hereafter that check the condition 1001 or uh, less than equal to 1000, so condition false, so that out from a uh, for loop. Yeah. So I hope guys you understand the logic. So, so thanks for watching, see you in next video.